periodontal disease, gum disease, gingivitis, tooth decay are major problems for individuals. And at a greater level, they cost our economies billions of dollars every single year because they are the most common chronic illnesses that we suffer. So the costs are huge to our economies. And what we do know is that melatonin plays a very large role in that. Yes, you've heard of melatonin. It's a sleep neurotransmitter. Well, that's a fraction of what melatonin is beneficial for, but melatonin plays a huge role in all of these conditions. Let me explain. First of all, these conditions are linked with inflammation. Inflammation is the redness and the soreness. The oxidation is the damage get done and an imbalance in our immune system. And as a result, you lead to a vicious cycle, more inflammation, more in, uh, oxidation, uh, greater imbalance in the immune system, and so on and so on and so on. And this is linked in with, obviously, a bacterial overgrowth. And it's not uh, uh, just a bact any type. It's a bacterial dysbiosis. So you have an oral microbiome. Now, we have a gut microbiome, and everybody knows about that. You've got an oral microbiome made up of hundreds and hundreds of different varieties and species of bacteria, viruses, and so on in your mouth. And they either look after it or cause the problem. And what you want is a balance, what's called eubiosis, EU biosis. What we end up with in many cases is dysbiosis. And this dysbiosis of the oral microbiome leads to gaps, literally leaky gaps in our mucus, in my membranes and so on. So these toxins produced by the bacteria, in particular, a group called LPS, lipopolysaccharides, are able to literally get from the mouth into the blood and not just causing and contributing further to these diseases, but also to these other metabolic diseases. And now it's just been well established now for decades that uh, increased dysbiosis in the mouth, your oral microbiome, leads to LPS and leads to an increase in cardiovascular disease, metabolic syndrome, diabetes 2, Alzheimer's, depression and other health, uh, mental health conditions, certain cancers and even adverse pregnancy outcomes. And that's the short list. It's a much greater list. So the link with all of these conditions of periodontal disease. From the perspective of melatonin, what we know first is you have melatonin receptors in your mouth. In other words, receptors that pick up the melatonin from your saliva. Yes, you produce saliva and in that saliva is melatonin. It it's actually sets the receptors up there to say, do the good work, do the good work, do the good work. However, what happens is um, uh, melatonin decreases with increasing disease. So it's not able to do the good work. What we also know is you've got high concentrations in the mucosal cells, right in the mitochondria, inside of the cells in your mouth, you've got high concentrations. But as I said, it decreases with increasing disease because it's being overloaded, overworked, and you're literally running out of it. Now, we also know that melatonin is, in, is involved in tooth development, and it produces not just uh, benefits in terms of bones and things, but also periodontal stem cells, which are the stem cells, particularly in those first half a dozen years of our life for the growth and regrowth of teeth and so on, and later on in life in for repair of some of the little conditions in teeth and around the gums and so on. So these periodontal stem cells. And what we also know is that melatonin, from a broader perspective, is a potent antibacterial. So it kills the nasty, doesn't just kill the nasty ones, it helps promote the good bacteria in the mouth. You remember, you want a good oral microbiome. You want a healthy oral microbiome. So it's balancing of that microbiome. It's anti-inflammatory, so it helps control that redness and the soreness. It's antioxidant, so it stops the damage being done in there. It's bone building. In fact, we now know that in some dentistry practices, they use melatonin in terms of dental implants to help some of the bone regrow around dental implants and so on. With This is happening in the studies all around the world, so they're doing it in the study. And of course, it's collagen type one building. Now, collagen type one is the major connective tissue around the body. So it's, it's used in uh, bone, ligaments, tendons, skin, hair, all those things, collagen type one. And of course, you have to imagine how much is used around the mouth in terms of collagen one, type one, because of the constant repair and replacement all through the digestive system. So you can see the important role melatonin can play in the whole digestive system, starting at the mouth. 